What's going on guys? It's Will back with another video to follow up on my Riloxavine cycle. So back about a year ago, um, I started a Riloxavine cycle. I was going to do it for six months, I believe at 60 milligrams. I stopped about the third month because I went to go get blood work done. And my blood came out thick as shit, boy. And I got scared because I have preconditioned stuff in my family like heart failure, heart disease yada 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 I didn't want that to exacerbate that and bring that here in my 20s I would like to say there was at least a 35 percent improvement on the size and the mass sensitivity was improved I had zero sensitivity and also the puffiness did go down now if I was to go back and redo the cycle again I'd make sure I take all my blood work I did but I would do a lower dose for a longer period of time. And I believe that would be the key, especially for my case. Now, if you don't have the preconditioned heart disease and stuff like that, I would say screw it, do the, the higher dose. Again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not certified. This is just from my experience. Take it as a grain of salt. Yeah, after I stopped, I actually, uh, it, the sensitivity came back. Uh, the size went back to normal. I'm looking to actually towards surgery at this point because sensitivity is pretty unbearable at times. Again, I have unilateral gyno, which is only on my left side of the chest. My right side is kind of puffy, but there's no gland underneath. So the last time I took the video, my chest has actually gotten a little bit bigger in regards to the, uh, the tissue. So as you can see, the tissue is right here, and it's only on my left side. It is about yay big now. I would like to say there's a good chunk of tissue under there. Now my right side doesn't have anything. My right side is fully, fully flat, I would say. It's, it is poofy, but not as bad as this side. Now I do have a lot of sensitivity, and it has gotten bigger and it shows through shirts which I don't like and a lot of you will say oh boy you don't have gyno uh, it doesn't even look like you have gyno I got big old titties but no matter if you got big gyno little gyno even smaller gyno than this it's still gyno it still fucking sucks and there's no cure for it at this point so that's why I did the Reloxifene to begin with I know there's other things like Letrozole and not um, Novadex and stuff like that, but at this point I don't want to put anything else into my body because I don't want to risk any adverse side effects at this point. Now, with surgery wise, I want to get surgery done where they'll remove the gland. Hopefully I'll look to that to do in the near future and I can keep you guys posted. One thing that I would recommend before even looking to do Riloxifene, Letrozole, Novadex, any of these things is to make sure your diet is clean. Soy is horrible for you. Antibiotics and chicken and meat, all the hormones in chicken and meat and milk and dairy, all that stuff's bad for you. All that stuff gives you titties. All that stuff puts your balls up in your stomach and makes you get an index so you have a vagina and you don't want that you want to be a man you want to have your manliness you want to have hair on your balls you want to have hair on your chest I don't have hair on my chest because I shave it you want to make sure your diet is clean as can be because once you start that that will hopefully carry over once you get the surgery once you take the raloxifene and actually kickstart that and kickstart your recovery on that point. Keep you guys posted on what I wanna do here in the near future, but like I said, I'm looking towards doing surgery. One other thing I wanted to mention is endocrinologist focuses on all your hormones. See them, they can do the proper test. Your mom and pop doctor, they don't have the specialty to, to figure that stuff out. <clears throat> Get your test done before. Get your test done three months in get your tests done six months in and then get your tests done either a month or two after you actually get off of the cycle now i'm gonna leave that here uh, if you like i said if you guys have any questions please comment below and i will keep you posted on what i decide to do in the near future adios amigo